Hi, Kirk here from Air Precision. Today we're going to be going over how to install a bar barrel nut when building your AR-15 upper receiver. Tools and parts you're going to need for this install. You're going to need a good armorer's wrench. You're going to want to look for one with a three pin adapter on it just like that. This is something we get asked about a lot. Not all armorer's wrenches have that. So do make sure you have that, that three pin fitting on your armorer's wrench. You're gonna need a good quality torque wrench. If your torque wrench is not capable of removing things, uh, you're gonna want a breaker bar to go with it so you don't damage your torque wrench when seasoning your barrel nut. Of course, you're gonna need your bar barrel nut and shims. And then you're gonna need some way to mount your upper receiver into your vice block. For this, I'm gonna be using a Geisley reaction rod, something like this or a Midwest Industries URR uh, is gonna be ideal for a barrel nut install. And then lastly, you're gonna need some sort of anti-seize for the threads on here. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure it's aluminum safe. If you're not sure if your anti-seize is aluminum safe or proper for this, the safe bet is just to go out and get some Aeroshell 64. You may also hear to it referred to as Aeroshell 33 MS. Um, this is gonna be the mil spec barrel nut grease that just about everybody uses. So with your barrel uh, installed in the vice block here, we're gonna go ahead and take some of our anti-seize and we're gonna apply it. There's a little bit residual on there, but I'm gonna apply a little more. Better to have too much of this stuff than not enough. So, get a good even spread of it. And we're gonna take our barrel nut and we're gonna try it with no shims at first, torque it down to the spec and then see if uh, it's gonna need more. Okay, so right there you can pretty much tell it's not going to index. So we're going to back it off. Then we're gonna apply some of our shims. This might take some trial and error to find out what the exact amount you're gonna need is, so be patient with it. I've already determined that off camera, so we're gonna just roll with it rather than you sit here and watch me play with shims for half an hour. Tighten that down. We've got a little bit of room there. Okay, so with our armor's wrench installed on our torque wrench at a 90 degree angle, I'm gonna go ahead and index with those holes in the barrel nut there. Okay, and we're going to tighten it down. The torque spec on these is gonna be 30 to 45 foot-pounds. Okay, so there's right in our range, and the hole for the gas tube is in fact lined up. So let me reset my torque wrench here. Now that we know we're lined up, we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and season the barrel nut. So I'm gonna take it off and put it back on about three times. So break the torque and I'm gonna go ahead and torque it back down. Loosen it one more time. And torque it back down a third and final time. Okay, cool. Still got good alignment on the bar barrel nut there. Now that your bar barrel nut is installed, you're ready to go ahead and install your gas system and handguard accordingly, either the Quantum or Enhanced. For more instructionals like this one, be sure to visit our YouTube channel and subscribe. And to purchase AR-15 parts and components, visit us at our website, aeroprecisionusa.com.